We thank the Lord for this morning. It is by his mercies that we are still alive. This is another day, the 28th of 2020. He has given us life and we are still here. Beloved, let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we thank you for another day like this. It is by your mercies and your love and your kindness that your children are alive around the whole world. Only you can do this from January up to today. You alone has given us life. We are still alive because you control life. We thank you. We magnify. Your mercies are endure forever. May your name be exalted. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For giving us a day that we are here. Spirit of the living God, this is empty vessel that you can use. Speak through me, O oh Lord, that I have availed myself. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your word come forth. In Jesus' name, I greet the listeners of Prophet Kennewu this morning for availing yourself that God has given us a message. May his name be praised in Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, the title of the message is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ is above every name, hallelujah. Let us turn our Bible to Philippians 2, and the verses are 8 to 10. And let's hear the word of God. And 8, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross, nine. Therefore, God also has highly exalted him and gave him the name which is above every name, 10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven, and those on earth, and those under the earth. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the mention of the name, it is a divine power and authority in the name being recognized in heaven and earth and under the earth. Hallelujah. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ is his righteousness, is his personality, and it is his holiness. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ, as it is mentioned, it is where salvation comes from. Hallelujah. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ carries healing, Deliverance, repentance, and life changing. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ destroy the works of the enemy. And the name of our Lord Jesus Christ break every yoke of the enemy. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ does everything in our life. And it is the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
I want to minister a song that our Lord Jesus Christ, the name, it carry power. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Oh, how I love Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he loved me first. Hallelujah. Beloved, our Lord is so good. Our God is so faithful. He is the ancient of days. We continue. Our next Bible reading is taken from Act 12. Beloved, let's hear the word of God. Act 12. And at rather is at four, I'm sorry. And the verse is 12. Let us hear the word of God. At 4, 12 says, nor is there salvation in, in any other, for there is no other name under the heaven given among men way by which we must be saved. Beloved, it is the only name that in heaven, on earth, underneath the earth, can save mankind. Hallelujah. The name is, the name carries salvation. The name cleanses the name say, the name sanctify at the mention of the name on this earth or in heaven. Every knee bow, including Satan. Beloved, let's see something. When it comes to deliverance ministry, the demons, they come to challenge the name. But beloved, they never win. Because God Almighty is using his servant, genuine servant, that know the name. So when every time in deliverance, when the name is mentioned, the enemy is defeated. The name never fails. The name wins all the time. Beloved, this is done by the Holy Spirit. That gives us the utterance and the power in the name. Hallelujah. We thank him for giving us the name. The name that is above every name. We glorify him. I will sing another song. For our God is so good. Our God is so wonderful. Oh yeah. Oh my Hallelujah. Oh yeah. Oh my my dream, quiet. Oh, my, ah, when he miss you, why, 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 Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, oh, when you, my dream, quiet. Oh, my, ah, when he. And you know, beloved, our God 
is faithful. Let us read in Romans and the verse is nine. The verse is 10, nine, Romans 10, now. Let us hear the word of God. Concerning the question that I have to ask, Romans 10, nine says, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Hallelujah. This is my question. Does the name of our Lord Jesus Christ work for everyone? Yes or no? Yeah, the answer is no. Why I say no? The scripture we read said, confession must take place. Confession must take place so that you accept Christ as your personal savior. With your heart, with your mind, with your soul, and with your strength so that you can use the name. The name is above every name. Hallelujah. The name carry power. Oh, we give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. We continue. Let us see Colossians 3 and the verse is 17. Beloved, let's hear the word of God. And whatever you do, the word of indeed, do all the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God the Father through him. Hallelujah. Everything we do must bear the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The name is given to us to enjoy the fellowship with him. We live daily to please him with his name in everything we do. Hallelujah. Power and might belongs to our Lord Jesus Christ. There is power in the name. Hallelujah. Oh, what a mighty God. What a king of kings. The Lord of our host. We continue. Let's read in Acts 2.38. This is about the disciple Peter. Let's hear what Acts 2.38 say. Then Peter said to them, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So the name carry repentance, to change your ways, to change your thoughts, to change your mind, and also the evil way from bad to good through the Holy Spirit that can help you, you or I. The name is saved so that you confess your sin and let Jesus Christ be your savior. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit give us the utterance and the fulfillment of the power in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, we continue. Let's read 
Acts 19 and see what the name carries. Act 19 and the verse is 13. 13 to 16. And I read, hallelujah. We serve a mighty God. We give him all the glory. Hallelujah. Let's hear at 19, what he says. Then some of the illutant Jews, Exodus, took it upon themselves to call the name of our Lord Jesus Christ over those who have evil spirit, saying, we as exhorted you by the, by the Jesus whom Paul preached. 14, also there were seven sons of Siva, a Jewish chief priest who did so. 15, and the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know and Paul I know, but you, but who are you? Then the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them, overpowered them and prevail against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. Beloved, if you don't know the name, you can use it. So these people were whipped. Why? Because they did not know the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, we have to yield our body, our soul, our mind, and our strength unto our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit will help us to use the name. We need to examine ourselves so that we can use the name. Hallelujah. It's all about yielding ourselves to the Holy Spirit and he will fill us with the power and at the mention of the name, the enemy will be defeated. It takes a commitment and let the Holy Spirit who is in charge of our life help us so that we can use the name all the time and there is a power in the name. We give God all the glory and honor for giving us his name to be used and at the mention of the name, all knee bow. Holy Spirit, we thank you for the utterance. May you help us as you are the teacher, our guide, our protector, and a friend for helping us or giving us the utterance. We give God the glory. We give God the Father the glory, God the Son the glory, God, the Holy Spirit, the glory. We thank you for all what you are doing for us. It is by your mercy. It is by your grace that we are alive. May you help this morning, your servant, Prophet Kenewu, protect him, guide him as you have assigned him to do the work, him and his family, and also 
his listeners that avail themselves daily to listen to the prophet and time prophet. May your name be praised. May your name be exalted. We thank you from January up to today, the 28th. You alone can do this because without you, we cannot make it. May your name be praised. We thank you. We glorify in Jesus Christ, your mighty name. We give you all the glory. Amen.